Jean-Michel Basquiat arrived on the New York art scene in 1979, and when he died, tragically of a drug overdose in the summer of 1988, he had become an international art superstar. Basquiat, along with Schnabel, Herring, Sally, and others, was one of a whole new generation of painters, young, bright, and irreverent. And when the New York Times wrote about these new artists in 1985, it was his picture they chose for the cover of their Sunday magazine. After much coaxing, Jean-Michel reluctantly agreed to let Art New York interview him in the spring of 1983 in his loft on Crosby Street. Shot in a verite style, this interview captures his spontaneous, playful nature often seen in his work. Where do the, the words come from? I, it, um, real life books, re television. Yeah, and you, you just skim them and uh, start including... No, I mean, I'm, when I'm working, I hear them, you know, and I just throw them down. Oh, yeah? Well, I mean, things like Punic Wars, I remember that was in one of your... Oh, th th that was from a, a, a guidebook on Roman history. And uh, you, you had been uh, reading it and... Uh... Well, it, it, was not, it wasn't that long, that actual history part of it. It's like, you know, history of Roman, five pages, you know? Yeah. He put out all the best he could give to the world in his paintings and all his ideas. He was so ready to give it to everybody. He was extremely generous as a person as an, and, as a, and as an artist. It was one thing he was definitely serious about. It was making art, you know. Jean-Michel lived his life like a fire. Burned really hot, really bright. The fire went out, but the coals are still hot. It uh, just had a, had, a, had a jump and a snap and a snarl to it that was uh, that was really new, um, uh, really accurate to the moment, uh, and eloquent. 